Hi guys, good morning from Wayanad. So today is the last day in Wayanad. We are checking out right now and we are traveling to a overall new place. So we are going to Nagarhol National Park which is situated at the bank of river Kabini. So yeah, stay tuned till the end of the vlog and enjoy. Before starting our journey to a new destination, we first had our breakfast. The distance from Wayanad to Kabini is 140 km and from Bangalore to Kabini is 180 km. We drove through the Kabini Forest Reserve which is one of the most popular wildlife destinations of Karnataka. It also comprises of southeastern part of Nagarhul National Park. And on our way, we spotted lots of deer. Kabini is also known for its river which is one of the major tributaries of Kaveri River. We were headed towards our river facing cottages that we booked in Kabini. And then after 4 hours of drive, we reached Country Heaven Homestay in Kabini. So this is the main entrance of the homestay. It is situated a bit in the interior of Kabini. This homestay is situated amidst greenery and is very spacious. So guys, right now we are at Country Heaven Homestay and there are two cottages in the river. So our cottage is this one. So I'll show you inside the cottage. Very basic. You have the beds. There's a TV as well. So more than two people can easily accommodate here. They have also given an extra bed, and there is an extra mattress as well. And there is a view. There are sitting arrangements outside as well. You can sit here and chill. And there's a swing. And that's the other river cottage. So since there are only two river cottages here, so you have to book early in advance. So the rates here are 2,500 per head and you have to pay in advance. 50% uh, amount in advance. I will share the phone number of the owner in the description and also in the screen. So if you are interested to visit this homestay, you can call the owner and you can book in advance. It's a beautiful homestay facing Kabini River. So guys, we traveled to Kabini from Wayanad and we were following the Google map location we had put country heaven homestay in the google map but the location is wrong so it will lead you to some other location that will lead you to a temple and that's what happened with us also we reached to a temple so i would advise that if you are booking this homestay then it's better that you call the owner and you get the direction properly this will save your time and also another important point is that all the resorts here in Kabini are way too expensive. The resorts here generally starts from 5,000 per night, that too without food. 
So uh, this homestay is the cheapest homestay that you will find in the uh, region of Kabini and that's why we too booked because uh, this homestay is really nice, it's very eco-friendly and also just at the bank of river Kabini and the plus point is within 2500 per head they will give you three times food. So yeah, I guess this is one of the best deals that I could get. We were very hungry and grabbed some lunch. There was rice, chapati, rasam, mixed veg curry, chicken curry and curd for lunch. Food was very homely and nice. It was monsoon and the rain added more greenery to nature. The best part of this cottage is that it is river facing so you can sit and relax facing the river from your room itself. So guys, inside the campus of the homestay, there is a play area for children as well. And this campus is full of greenery. You can come with your family and friends in a weekend and chill here at the bank of river Kabini. It's a perfect place to spend a weekend. That is the dining cottage where they serve food. This property has two river facing cottages, one dormitory that accommodates 10 people and one tree house. But whichever room you book, you have to book early in advance because this is the cheapest homestay so all the rooms get occupied too early. Another best part of this cottage is that there are few steps which you can take and you can go near the river bank. There are also sitting arrangements near the river. Since the area surrounding the homestay is very spacious, so we spent the evening by walking and exploring the area. This is the dormitory that accommodates 10 people. We were served tea and snacks in the evening. This was included in the homestay package. There is also a facility for bonfire but you need to inform the homestay early. Bonfire is additionally chargeable. Well, it was monsoon time and it was drizzling so we did not do the bonfire. For dinner, there was chicken biryani, paneer, rice and chapati. Good morning guys, this is the next day in Kabini and today is the last day 
of our stay in country heaven homestay today we will be checking out and right now it's 9 a.m. in the morning it is a very nice place if you are coming with your friends you can play games you can enjoy you can relax you can also do bonfire with barbecue chicken on request well that will cost you additionally Drinking tea in the morning by the bank of river was an amazing feeling. I really loved the stay at Country Heaven River Cottage and I would highly recommend you to stay here if you are looking for a peaceful and relaxing stay. For breakfast, there was puri sabji and pongal available. This place was really very safe and very calm. It was time for us to check out of the property and leave for our next destination. If you want to know more information about Kabini and this property, please let me know in comments. I will meet you in the next vlog with a new place. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos, hit the bell icon for notification. Take care. Bye.